you know, you always want to think about it oh, deeply. Yeah. You know, I mean, um, there was excitement to bring it back, um, uh, and you know, always you're always anxious because you know that there's passionate fans and you want to. Um, both reassure them that, that you're not messing with the original, but also pay homage to the original, but also do something new. And so that is a tricky balance to achieve. Um, and, you know, so you want to be mindful of all of those things at the same time. Um, and, you know, we're, we're bringing it back, back because we were fans of the original, too. So you want, you know, it's it's you always have a complicated relationship and you also want to make sure that it's not exactly the same because exactly the same, you know, because that exists. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's that all of those things sort of go through your mind when you're uh, doing any kind of adaptation, reboot, translation, anything. Yeah. Was there consideration given to uh, making it a sequel as opposed to a reboot? Or well, you know, the se it's interesting because the original, you know, we saw Piper's boys later in their lives. We saw they had a, you know time travel and they had an ending they had a real ending um, to the original so number one it would have been I, I, I was really mindful of not messing with anything of the original because it exists and because people had put in so much hard work and it was eight years worth of stories and I didn't want to do anything that would change that fabric and I felt like that was the the way I could respect it the most would be to not touch what they had. Um, another thing for me, uh, uh, you know, we, we know who they the women ended up with. We know what their who their kids are, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm coming off of Jane the Virgin, which has been you know for me a uh, watershed moment in terms of how I understand the importance of um, representation on screen and about seeing people that look like you um, you know I always knew that on an intellectual level but until I did Jane like I didn't feel it until I got the emails about what that meant and the tweets and like about seeing yourself on screen and so there was a very conscious effort to make uh, you know we had seen four white witches so you know frankly we, we didn't want to repeat that we wanted this to be new heroes um, and uh, a, a different a different family so that was part of the thinking as well um, so this morning I did also watch this uh, the screening of the pilot yeah. um, and I noticed there was that one easter egg referring directly back to the original yeah. show so yeah. does, does that indicate that it exists in the same universe it, you know it, it indicates that like we'll get to that a little bit okay. <laughs> and that um, and that the uh, original charmed ones and the, the mythology of um, their matriarch is part of the fabric of, of what will be on uh, the story we'll be telling. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, have you had any reaction knowing that it's coming back? Have you had reaction from... You mean on Twitter? <laughs> well, for <Yeah>. example... <laughs> You want to share some of that with me? And no, you know, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, I, mean, I, I honestly, because I haven't been following it yeah. on Twitter, so I'd be positive as well as like, how dare you do that? There's both. You know, I, I, and, you know, all it says to me is that what a passionate fan base, you know, um, and that speaks to how much people loved the original, how much it meant to them, and uh, how protective they are of that legacy, and I can understand that for sure. I know. I know. And I know. Of course, the original was feminist. That it was what it was all about. I know. And you know, you honestly, those things get written. You get a call that's like, the show's getting picked up. There's a log line. Is this okay? That is it. Can you do that? And you're like, yeah. And then like, but I understand that. I understand why that felt icky to fans of the original and to the originals. Like I. I because it implies that theirs wasn't, and of course it was. So, um, you know, it just shows us more and more that words matter, <laughs> um, and and that uh, everything that we say is, is important and weighted. And I think, um, I, I mean, if I had a magical reverse time <laughs> power, I would certainly have revised that. <laughs> but I think, like having seen it now, it does make sense why the feminist bit was uh, underscored in the description because it is very. It, it is explicit. It is, I mean, her mother was a women's studies professor, so, you know, but, um, yeah, I can, I, I, I do, though, understand, like, once I read uh, how people were feeling, I was like, oh, my God, of course, of course, um, you know, and everything moves so fast, right, on Twitter and everything, you're just like, wait, slow down. <laughs> 
take this word, I'll put this word in, and it's, it's hard. The decision to make um, the show more diverse and more inclusive something that you wanted to do from the beginning, or did that sort of develop? You know, it's something that, um, for me, it was important coming from Jane. Um, that, that was important to me from the start. Great to meet you guys. <laughs> Thank you.